the MOSFETs to pop now, so I'm back playing with this circuit. I was really, really interested in this um, high frequency circuits, but still dealing with this clunky uh, variable capacitor, but it's actually seemed to have done the trick. That was my problem before. I, I would imagine capacitor plates too close together. Um, but I can actually crank this up now a little. So that's my little flame right there at um, about 32 watts right now. Actually, I'm going to cut this fan on here. So I can crank up the voltage the way it's set now with this arrangement. The cap can pretty much stay where it's at. The pot can be changed around a little bit, but I've got it back down just barely to the point where it wants to um, oscillate at a, at a higher voltage, which is sort of interesting because if I back that down slightly right now, um, that flame will still be going. But then once I reach about 24 volts or so, then it'll go out, and then I actually have to buy the uh, gates a little bit more. That's kind of weird, but so I'm gonna crank the uh, voltage up on here. You see about 25 volts, pulling a little over, close to two and a half amps. So I mean that's over 50 watts right there, but we got the uh, cool little flame going. So I'm gonna bring it up to about 30 so at about 30 volts it pulls about two and a half amps and that's the little flame I got going so that's not bad sucker's hot and that sucker is hot hot but <clears throat> damn that's starting to stink let's burn this resistor hey. this wire is gonna uh, get pretty hot Whew. so I can't really run it like that for too long cause uh, just because of the sheer heat it's gonna be um, spreading throughout the coil Well, that's pretty cool. It seems like I can more or less uh, just crank the voltage like that now. Since that is a fresh battery, I'm going to try cutting the gate up just a little bit. So I nudged the gate voltage up slightly. I'm going to see what happens when I uh, crank the voltage up now. It's about the same. It gets a little bit hotter, pulls a little bit more juice. So I could, eh, I really don't want to kill it. Yeah, cutting the gate up a whole lot more doesn't do a whole lot, but uh, it is going pretty strong now. It's heating up that wire too much. But, <clears throat> yeah, this big-ass capacitor right here, making everything live. But, yeah, that's not bad. Hell, yeah. So, I need to be able to feed it more voltage, really, to really see what it can do. Nine volts, nothing. Twelve volts, nothing. Oh. And the MOSFET just kicked it. I think that was the MOSFET kicking it. Oh, nope. I don't know what it just did. Oh, it's doing something. Normally that would be the MOSFET going. But it didn't. Interesting. Wow. So I don't really know what happened there. There's sort of some weirdness. But yeah, I can still crank that, crank it up. Now when I crank it up, I start to see the tip of that wire get real bright. The camera doesn't really 
pick it up, but uh, that's what happens. Let's try that again. So that the tube, as I crank it up, the tube kick started at about you know 15 volts. So I'd imagine that's when I can. Uh, oh, no. I gotta bring it up. No. I guess that's why this thing's funny like that. As you can see, I mean, it's not, it's wanting to uh, go into overdrive. So now let me back the gate voltage down. See what happens. So yeah, I had to back the gate voltage down a little bit. Now with it where it's at, still crank it up. So let me try that again. Bring it all the way down. It extinguishes at about 12 volts. It stops oscillating. It starts oscillating at about. Oh, well, yep, now I need to change the settings again. So now I have to <laughs> turn the pot up slightly. And now it's going again. And I can draw it out. Yeah, so this thing's weird like that. You have to just make slight little adjustments here and there. And that thing, now it's really, now it's going super hot. Thing went full yellow. And that was just from the slightest little adjustment. So, yeah, this thing's weird like that. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, it looks like that 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 was my problem. So if anybody else has the same problem um, with this with these damn fets constantly popping, I would look to try a different variable capacitor, particularly one that has uh, a visual gap, a noticeable gap between the plates. Matter of fact, so here. Here's the one I was using, and only two of these are relatively still intact, and you can see it's there's been damaged. But you can, I mean, it's it's almost it's very difficult to see the gap in between these plates. So you can see this is this is pretty much not a very high voltage air cap, at least. Uh, with at least you know a couple of these plates the way they got warped over time um, you know they they don't actually there is no dead short between them but they're very they're very freaking close together it's hard to zoom in and show that but very clear clear difference there and uh yeah that seemed to be the problem 